Check out Saturday Adventures on Tee Public for our newest designs. My name is Indiana Bones. I'm an archaeologist, explorer, adventurer, cryptozoologist, street art expert, and friend to pigeons. Join the adventure as I explore mysterious places, forgotten history, and track down unknown creatures. Hi, I'm Anna, and on today's adventure, I'm in New Jersey. Again. New Jersey is a different kind of place. None of it is quite right. Over the years, I've come to New Jersey for dinosaurs, for fairies, and even to see the birthplace of Jason Voorhees. But today, I've come back to check in with an old friend. We're in the Pine Barrens, one of the thickest and most foreboding forests I've ever seen. The wooded area spans seven counties of New Jersey, and it's supposedly the home of the state's most famous monster. This was not my first expedition to find the Jersey Devil, but I had learned of a secret spot where the monster is known to feed. The Pine Barrens are less than two hours from New York City, and even closer to Atlantic City and the busy Jersey Shore, but you can't feel more cut off. Trees form walls on either side of the road, giving the effect of driving in a canyon. The people who live here are called Pineys, a once derogatory term that many have come to embrace with regional pride. The story of Mother Leeds giving birth to a monster is probably apocryphal and politically motivated, but regardless, Stories of a monster have persisted in the Pine Barrens for hundreds of years. Just like the Sopranos and those ding-dongs from the Jersey Shore, people in New Jersey like to identify themselves with monsters. The Jersey Devil was my favorite monster to read about when I was a tiny cryptozoologist, after Bigfoot, of course. The stories of a horse-headed, bat-winged, fork-tailed, flying monster were beyond belief, and I wanted nothing more than to see this creature for myself. Well, today I got my wish. I had lunch with the Jersey Devil. Welcome to Lucille's Country Kitchen. This little diner sits at the intersection of two long, empty highways that run through the Pine Barrens. Lucille's boasts something that no other diner in the Pine Barrens can claim. Out front was the draw, a life-size or even possibly larger than life chainsaw sculpture of the monster. If you're traveling through the heart of the Pine Barrens, make sure you stop by and say hello.